look at loops in Pinescape. So in general, you have to use loops if you want to execute a certain piece of code multiple times. And uh, in Pinescape, uh, you have two types of loops, a for loop and while loop. So let's start with a for loop. So idea of for loop is uh, quite simple. You have to use it if you know exactly how many times do you want to run your code. So here is the syntax of for loop. So first it starts with the for um, keyword. After that, you define a variable. Uh, it's called iterator. And then, then you define like initial value for your variable. So it's zero for me. After that, you have two keyword and then you have like a final um, value for the iterator. And then you, have, you can include optionally by statement and uh, what will be the step for your for loop. And that's basically it. And after that, from the new line from indent, you can write some code that you want to repeat multiple times. And here for me, it's quite simple. I basically just sum up all the volumes for the last 10 bars. So how it works? So basically, it will, it will take like your iterator i, and after that, it will change its value from 0 to 9. And every time, it will run this code and will change. You know, you can see here I have this my iterator here. So basically, this code will help me to sum up all the volumes for the last 10 bars. While loop also is pretty simple, um, but idea just a bit different. So while loop will execute the code in a loop, uh, and while condition you pass to it is true. So here I have like a while statement, and here I have like a condition, and this condition should be true or false, like boolean. And uh, while this condition is true, my code will be executed, and as soon as it will become false. Uh, like script will exit the while a loop. So as you can see, it's quite simple. So here I have like a simple idea. I basically search for the most recent like bar that is bigger than uh, 280 hours. So it's kind of idea of it is quite simple. So next I want to introduce you like two other concepts about uh, loops. And um, first one is break statement. So with while loop, you can do uh, following thing. I do this quite a lot in other programming languages, but now in Pinescript you can do this stuff as well. So basically you can create infinitive loops. So you can pass like while well, true. And um, basically the idea is following that in the in the loop itself, you can, with the if statement, you can check condition. And if this condition will be uh, true, basically you can say, okay, I want to break from it. And uh, if uh, like Pinesk, it will see uh, while executing the loop, it will see the break statement. It will basically end your loop immediately. So it's uh, quite a nice thing as well. An idea of uh, this uh, like uh, loop is the same as this one. Functionality is completely the same, but I just uh, kind of end my loop from within. Another pretty useful feature for Pinescape uh, uh, loops is a uh, continuous statement. So idea is very simple for continuous statement. Idea is following that uh, when Pinescape executes the loop and it will see continuous statement, it will stop executing uh, code for the current iteration of uh, your loop and will start again immediately. So here is how it works. So here, for example, I have like a for loop and um, it's similar to this one when I try to compute a volume of the last 10 bars. But here I want to compute volume of the last uh, 10 green bars, basically. So take the last 10 bars and compute volume only for green bars. So how can I do that? So here I have the same loop, but here I have this statement. And if this condition is true, I put here like continue statement. And Pinescape will see this uh, continue statement and will omit this bit of piece of code will increase my iterator and will start again immediately. And this way, um, it will compute it uh, pretty uh, nicely. So we can edit the chart to see if it all works. So here, for example, I computed uh, volume for the last uh, the green bars for the last 10 bars. And here's the big, big table, basically the first table that has uh, size of it is more than 280 yards.